Hi, me again. Anyway, here we are for box number four. We have another laser art structure. This is a craftsman kit. It's the uh, Stanley House. Another small, small kit. Got City Classics. Um, 114 West End Market. Oh, this seems to be really light for some reason. It hasn't been opened. But I don't see... And I discovered the City Classic. It doesn't look like there's any glass in here. Hmm. Uh, City Classics uh, is pretty much uh, a non-existent company now. Walters, I looked up on Walters and they have um, maybe a dozen items from City Classics and basically they're all um, signage of some sort. So we'll put that there. That may be a build or not build. Two vintage fire escapes, Walters, Cornerstone, and they're molded in gray plastic. That's for a couple of the buildings. <sighs> Ellie's House, laser cut kit from Monroe Models. And again, I don't know if this is existing anymore either. I'll have to check on that. Wood glue, super glue, and rubber cement. Uh, printed curtains and shades. Compositions step by step. Oh, complete step by step. Peel and stick, laser cut shingles, laser cut window glazing, cast three cast metal lead free chimneys. But again, this is something that just caught my eye. Whether it'll get built, whether it goes to the layout, we don't know yet. Right. What's this? Walter's mainline. What is this? Surprise! What is it? Factory. No, they are. Molded in five colors and clear plastic. Quick and easy to build, colorful print signs, classic American design. Kit shown assembled, intended for 14 and up. Okay, it's a factory. And again, we're not going to go through anything, we're not going to unbox nothing. Because we'd be spending hours upon hours with the number of kits I have. Skyview Drive In, watch movies on your layout. This has a thing that you can uh, slip a tablet in, so you can have a tablet playing. Uh, this is in the three colors in clear plastic. Uh, Nineteen forties to present. It has printed signs. It has the sign, the screen, concession, um, whatever that is plastic kit. I had a tablet. We bought a tablet for this and uh, <laughs> it's since gone bad so we don't have a tablet for that now. Walther's Cornerstone sand, Sanding Towers and Drying House. Molded in three colors and clear plastic. Uh, authentic brick Drying house, realistic piping, steam or diesel areas, realistic decals, detailed heavy timbered open storage bin, and early and late style towers included. Again, plastic glue modeling knife and acrylic paint recommended. Oh. And the Walters Cornerstone Machine Shop, molded in four colors and clear plastic. Shop Boiler House Smokestack. 
build a freestanding or attached accepts code 83 or 100 rail steam diesel areas realistic decals uh, great addition to the modern roundhouse so there's that just don't know 13 inches almost 14 inches long eight almost nine inches wide don't know if I'm gonna have room <sighs> Two-day fire station, Walters Cornerstone, molded in three colors and clear plastic. Two-story construction, separate hose tower, uh, modern glass and vintage wood equipped doors, decorative concrete trim, fits most fire equipment models, steam diesel airs, realistic decals, again, plastic glue, acrylic paint. Oh, what's this? Oh, three-stall roundhouse. Walther's Cornerstone, molded in five colors and clear plastic, Expand, expandable by using additional roundhouse kits, positionable doors, 10 degree, or 10 degree stall spacing, celestory windows, realistic decals, steam or diesel airs, split level roof with smoke jack decal, or details. Again, this is 14 by 14. Uh, actually, Uh, 12, 26 inches from the center of the round table. And 14 inches from the cross the back. Another large, kind of heavy kit. And, did I bump that? No, okay. Jim's Red Owl, Walter Cornerstone. And again, I don't know whether this is all available or not anymore. Uh, this is molded in two colors and clear plastic. Uh, Water-based glue, modeling knife, drill bit. I guess you need to put the sign on or whatever. Anyway, there's that. The Bates Mansion, Psycho, Polar Lights model, Plastic Assembly Kit Skill Level 2, not a lot of weight, I don't know, we'll build it, Diesel Fueling Facility, molded in three colors and clear plastic, storage tank and fuel crane, pump house and water crane, crane, Realistic decals, there's two adjacent tracks, simulated oil catch pan grates for modern services, transition and diesel er diesel eras, plastic goo a plastic glue goo or CA adhesive, modeling knife, and acrylic paint recommended. And it's um eleven by seven for the berm. And Vic's Barbershop, Walther's Cornerstone, molded in two colors and clear plastic, windows molded in, windows and doors, steam and diesel era, this is kind of like a DPM kit, uh, printed interior details and exterior awning, and this requires CA adhesive water-based glue, uh, wire cutters, pliers, a number 60 and number 75 drill bit and plastic glue <sighs> merchants row four molded in four colors and clear plastic three complete stores under one roof 1880s to present perfect for small town or big city and used with merchants row one two to model a complete business district that's like another plastic kit. And we got the Walther's bulk transfer conveyor and office. An under track dump pit with a stairway track grading for pit. Pit conveyor realistic decals. Wheeled rotary sorting conveyor and a corrugated metal office building and a chain link fence. And this runs what? 
about 10 inches by 6 for the for this part again another plastic kit oh. emergence row 2 four colors in clear plastic emergence row 1 molded in three colors in clear plastic three stores under one structure oh this is five stores under one structure Let's shove that over I can get about both of them in there uh, molded in windows and doors this has a unique corner corner turret realistic decals steam diesel area realistic decals this is 11 by 5 and this is 10 and a half by 6 so I have my whole downtown pretty much I have so much stuff for downtown and like downtown is going to be here I think was my planning and industries to the right and industries to the left we'll see but there's another box all done and out of the way I'll leave something there so you can see there hmm. okay well anyway again I hope you're enjoying this and if you are remember to hit the like button uh, please make comments on this or suggestions or whatever or what do you want to see built first I mean, there's there's still more believe you me but anyway again i hope you're enjoying this i thank you for watching and we will see you on the next video we make